Good morning everyone, I am in Bangkok, Thailand today and I am on my way to the 7-Eleven to get me food for the next 24 hours. to the 7-Eleven, the most popular convenience store here in Thailand where they have all different kinds, delicious food and snacks. And for the rest of this day, I want to get groceries from the 7-Eleven, see how much it's going to cost me to live off just 7-Eleven foods for one day. So let's go to the 7-Eleven. What are you doing here? <laughs> so I'm in the 7-Eleven now. This is a really big 7-Eleven. And let's go see what I can get for the rest of the day. So I have to start with breakfast. Um, and I'm looking for these toasties. So these toasties, this is a ham and cheese toastie and these are really, really good. This is going to be my breakfast and it's 29 baht, so that's less than one euro. And I need some coffee to go with this actually. I need a basket. Okay, let's see what kind of coffee am I going to get. So they sell loads of those. Uh, three and one coffees here. So these coffees are really good. It's three in one, so it's like sweetener, milk, and coffee in there, and it's only 17 baht. So this is less than 15 euro cents. So my breakfast is maybe gonna cost me one euro twenty. So now I have to find some lunch. Okay, so I found one of these sushi things. They're like uh, this is salmon with rice and then the seaweed that looks like it's wrapped around it is not wrapped around it yet so it's, it stays crunchy, it is packed in another layer of plastic so when you wrap it around it, it is actually still really really crunchy so this is really good and this is only 30 baht so 1 euro is 40 baht so this is less than 1 euro but I'll need something else to go with this for lunch so, I'm gonna get a big bottle of water for the rest of the day, of course. I'm also gonna get a iced tea, my favorite iced tea here in Thailand, which is this one. It has zero sugar in it and it's, it's so good. It's fizzy, it's really sweet, but it has no sugar and it's my my favorite drink here in Thailand, really good. Highly recommend to try this. This is only 20 cents, by the way, so this is 50 euro cents. That's nothing. Okay. So, snacks. Let's see. Oh, yeah. These are really good. Only 22 baht, so around 50 euro cents. They're really, really good. They taste like hand cheese crisp from the Netherlands. Really good.
Okay, so these are 17 or how much are they? 14 baht. And this is my favorite uh, noodles from the 7 Eleven. They're really good. It is uh, minced beef noodle flavor. Really good. So this is going to be a part of my dinner. Let's get one of these. These are only 21 uh, baht, so 50 cents, and they're really, really tasty. Pockies, they're called, I think. A few groceries later. Okay, so as the lady was scanning all my items, I saw that I got way too much, but okay, oh well. This is it. These are all my groceries for one day, and it's way too much, but. Um, so in total it was 260 baht which comes around 6 euros 50 and I can tell you right now that it's going to be way too much but I'm just going to sort it all out for you so you can see my breakfast, lunch and dinner. <laughs> I overdid it. I saw too many delicious stuff. So this is it. This is all I got for the day. So I have my breakfast, which is a coffee. And then in here, there's a ham cheese toasty. And I overdid it, as you can see. This is my lunch. This is uh, sushi with some crisps. This is too much. Then, okay, this I'm gonna drink. And then this. I don't know what I thought that I was going to eat all of this for lunch. I'm not. One bottle of water for the whole day. And then for dinner I have a pot noodles with gyoza, pork gyozas. And then I thought why not uh, have another dessert even though I already had like five of them. Uh, I got this cream croissant. So... So yes, that is way too much for the day. But let's first have my breakfast, which is this coffee. So first we're gonna have the coffee and the ham and cheese toasty. And I really want to show you this ham and cheese toasty because it's so good. So they're only like 50 cents and they're delicious. They toast it for you at the 7-Eleven. Mm. They're so crunchy. Um, the inside is just full of melted cheese, but I'm not there yet, so just a second. Mm. Okay, so look at this. So this is what the toasties look like and the inside is full with soft melted cheese and ham and they always just toast it perfectly like nice and brown such an easy thing to just grab and it's only 50 euros and mm. and it's honestly one of the best toasties I've ever had. It's so good. It never disappoints. So, instead of having these for lunch, uh, while well, I already have cake and crisps and um, other unhealthy stuff, I'm gonna have them for breakfast. They're really good. They're cream strawberry flavored and the stick is just like a, a biscuit really good and they were less than a euro so I think they were 33 33 baht and one baht is one euro so that's almost nothing look at this As you can see they're nice and crispy Look at that.
Mm. They're so good. You can also get them in cookies and cream and chocolate in all different different kinds of flavors, but this is definitely my favorite flavor, the pink ones. Strawberry and cream. Really good. Very bad breakfast, but oh well. <laughs> Okay, so I felt feel really unhealthy today. So after those um, pockies, pokies, pokies, I don't know, whatever they're called, those sticks with those flavors and stuff. I am not having finished having breakfast yet. Normally I eat and I eat one toasty and it's done, but I feel like something sweet. So. I got this strawberry cake with fresh cream. This is it. This was less than uh, one euro, so that's really nice. I've never had it. I've never had it before, so let's see if it's any good. Ta -da! This is it. Get the plastic off. Ooh. That looks good. Now look at that. My strawberry cream cake for less than one euro at the 7-Eleven. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try this. This is like a birthday cake. <laughs> Let's try. Get a nice piece. That looks really good, not dry at all. Yeah, this looks like really good cake. Okay, let's try it. Strawberry birthday cake. Mm. That's really good. Ooh. That's so good. It's not dry. I thought it would be dry because it's less than one euro. And it's from the 7-Eleven from the fridge, but it's really good. It's really juicy. It's a juicy cake. Mmm. It's probably not good for you, but it's good for your soul. It's delicious. Very good. Less than one euro at the 7-Eleven and a part of my most unhealthy breakfast I've ever had since I've been here in Thailand. Highly recommend. So now it's time for lunch time and for lunch I have these crisps, uh, crisp, crisps, 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 which are barbecue crisps. They are really good. They taste like the ham cheese crisps we have in the Netherlands, only they're way cheaper and they're delicious. I love these. These are my favorite ones, I think, in Thailand. Then I have this, my sushi, which is a triangle sushi with salmon teriyaki inside. Really good. And I'm gonna show you how to open this and make this. Your sushi. And then you unpack it, obviously like this as you can see it's just a piece of rice with salmon on the inside and then you grab it and then fold this open and oh i ripped it and then inside of this plastic is the seaweed paper roll and it's still crispy because it was in on in another apartment of this plastic and then you just fold it over like this and then you have your own salmon sushi which is not soggy it's still crispy the seaweed because it was in another department of the uh, plastic so it's actually really good to have it like this this is really good and it's really cheap 
These are such good sushis. Look at that. Oh, whoa. My camera just went crazy. Look at this. It's fully filled with salmon teriyaki. It's so good. It's not dry at all. It's really fresh. It's such a good and healthy lunch. Very easy to make. Just incredible. We also have the crisp. I always open them like this. Ooh, look. Ooh. Mmm, smells so good. These crisps are incredible. Look at that. Nice and orange. Let's try one. I like that they have those rib rib ribbles. I would call them ribbles ridges on there. I don't know how you say it in English actually, but they're really good. So good. I would say they taste like ham and cheese crisps. But they say it's a barbecue fla barbecue stick flavor. So mm. my favorite crisp, so good. Uh -huh. And then for lunch, I also got a nice drink because I got a big bottle of water for the whole day. But I thought I also want a nice drink today. And this drink is my favorite drink here in Thailand. It's Lipton iced tea. It has zero sugars. It's very sweet, even though it doesn't have sugars, but it's so tasty. It's fizzy. It's just really, really good. And we don't have this in the Netherlands. So that's really sad because it's delicious. So good. Lemon flavor. Now it's dinner time and I just made myself a uh, pot of boiling water so I can make my dinner from the 7-Eleven which is my favorite noodles. This is the uh, minced beef flavored one. Let's just open it up. So minced beef uh, flavored pot noodles, if you open it up, it looks like this. So you have the fork, noodles and everything, the flavors, and then I have my gyozas, which I'm just going to put in there with the boiling water so they can steam on top of my pot noodles. And then as a dessert, I have cream horns chocolate flavor, so a chocolate cream croissant horn with chocolate cream in it so let me just get some scissors so i can open these okay there we go i got my scissors and i'll show you how i'm gonna make my pot noodles so this is the pot noodles this is all the uh, seasoning that has to go on top I'm gonna put it up there. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the boiling water on top of there. Pot noodles. And then we have the pork gyozas, 
which would look really good and I've never had them before and I think they were like one euro for a lot of them so let's have a look what it looks like Ooh, that looks really good look at that these are the porkyosas so you have to warm them up and I, I came up with the idea of just um, putting them on top of my pot noodles because I just put boiling hot water on top of here. So I'm just going to put these on top of the boiling hot water. So we have the gyoza, so we're just going to put them on top of the boiling water. Five pieces, that's a lot. Top up the boiling water a bit. There you go. And now we're just going to close it. And then I'm just going to wait for a few minutes. I think five minutes will do. And then I'll come back and I have a whole pot of pot noodles with five porgiosas on top. Five minutes later. Okay, so it's been like five to 10 minutes now so let's have a look I need this by the way because I like this shirt and I always make a mess when I'm eating pot noodles I'm just gonna tuck that in there let's have a look at the noodles any good oh, mm. it actually looks like my plan worked that looks good. Ooh. <laughs> Pot noodles with pork gyozas on top, steamed with the pot noodles. It looks really good. Let's try it now. It looks like I did a good job. Let's try it out and see. Mmm. Mmm. This is delicious. And they're totally... Um, how do you say that? Cooked or steamed or whatever. Mm, this is very good. Such a good idea, and it maybe cost me like 150, 150 dinner from the 7-Eleven. So easy to make, just put them, them on top of your pot noodles with boiling water and they'll steam by themselves. Now let's have some noodles. This really is the best pot noodles. The minced beef one or is it minced pork it's pork i actually don't know minced meat really good mm. that's so good and this is a full meal very easy to make, perfect for rainy season right now because it's constantly raining. So just get yourself a whole full day package groceries from the 7-Eleven for only six euros 50. And you can even get it way cheaper because I got way too much sweets and stuff. So. Never go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Very good. Pot noodles and pork gyozas for only 150 in total. Very easy to make. Just put boiling hot water over it. That's all you need. Very good. And then after this, I still have my dessert. But first I'm going to eat this 
Okay, so pot noodles are done. Now it's time for my dessert I got. Cream horns chocolate for less than one euro. Mmm, that smells really good, really chocolatey. Ooh, okay, so this is it. My cream horn chocolate. Look at that. That looks delicious. And there's loads of cream in there. Let's try it. It's good, but I expected it to be better. It looks better than that it is. It's still good, but I had better sweets. The cake I had this morning was definitely better, the strawberry cream cake, but as you can see, Loads of cream in here too, so it is good. Mm. Only the chocolate flavor isn't that, um, I don't know, not that much chocolate flavor, just really sweet and creamy. And the bread isn't that sweet, so I would give this a six out of ten. This is my last thing from the 7-Eleven. I ate everything. I ate six euros 50 worth of food. Uh, 200 and 260 baht, I think. Um, it was really good. You can easily live off 7-Eleven food here in Thailand, I think, and especially those toasties are really good. And those pork gyozas I had for the first time ever. So easy to make. Just put them on top of your pot noodles and they'll just steam and be ready for you to eat with your pot noodles. So yeah, this was good. It was cheap. It was good. I bought way too much. I'm really full. But as you can see, you can easily live from 7-Eleven food here in Thailand if you're too lazy to go to a restaurant or make food yourself. So Thank you all for watching and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much bye